We got one of the keystones, we have two more to go. They have to be up somewhere. Ooh, this is bad. There's at least a cleric, two captains, and a conjurer. Of course, the conjurers take part in the fighting too quickly. If the captain dies, I'll go and help her. I'm not sure if I have the lock for you. Lock for him waiting. I'm going to target that little guy. Kill the captain. Cinda's dead. I'm not sure how I wish to handle this. Uh, I'm thinking Lucinda needs to be given order to not do anything so she doesn't gather aggression from the enemy. I don't know what else we could do. The fact that she lobs fireballs all over the place is the one thing that killed her. Fireball might actually be fairly good in this area. Edgar is dead. Why the fuck are you two people so pathetic? I mean, I know I haven't bought any good gear or anything, but I still have good armor and shields. And she no one's attacking her, so she should be still get out of this. No critical hit on Edgar. Shit. Our leader. How the fuck am I gonna keep two you two losers alive? There has to be another way to get up. Somewhere where I don't have to get into a huge fight immediately. I'm so goddamn ashamed of you. If you would do nothing, you would have a better chance of surviving things. Hold this spot like it was home. Yes, yeah, don't move. I can accomplish this task. You can get further up, excellent. This uh, will still have one of the key stones very likely, so we can't really go up to kill everything here. Hard leader. Let's have at it. And Daba, probably. Yeah. 
I'm not really interested in looting anything at this point. Moving on. Kill, 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 kill. Exactly what they needed. There's not much I can do about it. Conjure kill me at this point. I would have needed a uh, pretty good saving throw to avoid that. But the cleric is more dangerous than I thought it would be. The higher level cleric. I say for some reason. Critical hit, critical hit, and uh, th those are natural 20s basically raining on me one after another. Natural 19 this time. 19 and 20 hits, at least for the captains. And they will be critical hits both. Uh, another critical hit, natural 20. Still, it's the spell casters that are the real problem. Let's try saving again. Um, and they're not here to lose. Although, on the other hand, it would give me time to heal up a little bit. Box is needed to turn a barrel, a barrel of oil into a box. Not sure why we would really need them. I suppose if 
you could use them to... It's the one way for a certain type of character or class to deal with these large group fights. Rogue types will be able to uh, dodge all the damage, while the pirates will not. Token powder, spell book. Rule to touch less lesser dispel. This load is a bit of a strain. Have you actually just imagining it. Restoration. Plus one helmet of deflection. I would say, I guess that this was the toughest part of this entire area, simply because uh, it seems like some kind of a main hall for the entire lab level. Dining hall, right. So there might be individually more powerful fights, uh, but uh, not quite so numerous. Armor could be good. Uh, some of the containers here were definitely trapped. Fine banded mail. Never gonna use that. Step with me. Come on. Follow along. I'll leave these two guys in this room. That. And a closed door. Do. Hmm. So, enough skill to get rid of that. Hold this spot Let's like see it was if we yes. have a key I for it. Accomplish this task. I have to use ranged weapons. The acid arrows are probably good enough. Not sure if this is a sensible thing to build these uh, little trap challenges in this adventure. Because you only have a single character that is able to deal with these. At the same time, no one told me to pick this particular ca character, the caster in our group, so it's not like I have anyone else but myself to blame. Time for a bit of a game. Yes, the uh, acid damage that yeah. goes through, nothing else goes. Yeah. I have enough arrows, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Decent Hold this spot keys. like it was home. Um, no. If I close the door, I'll have probably have to come here and open it. Otherwise, they don't know how to move away from that little room on their own. If I leave it open, I can just call them later, and they'll come running. Identify. Ooh.
Your character has gained enough. Okay. Uh, lucky find amongst the contents. Use use of surge skill luck feats. A random box of no importance. Uh, to be fair, I didn't bother to look inside, but still. That's what I thought. Uh, definitely strength. We'll get uh, strength 20, which means plus 5. Tumbling doesn't mean anything unless we can get it to 10. Because we're interested in the armor class benefit, not the actual skill. We have such a heavy armor that we can't take uh, advantage of that. I w if I could take another class besides Fighter, I, I could get to Tumble's S level. Ah, uh, but that's not really an option. So, what? I'm thinking lore. But at the same time, that's not particularly uh, necessary either. But neither is the discipline. We have a lot of items I can't identify. I have lore potions, but only a couple. I would still like to be able to identify like 80% uh, of the old magical loot I get and leave the lore potion for something truly good that I might be able to use in there. And so this would be a convenience thing definitely. How far can we get discipline? 15. Uh, let's put a couple of points there. A couple of points in lore. One extra feat. What do we need? Uh, not improved expertise. I, I mean, I like the armor class increase, but to be fair, it's it's enough to force them to require natural 20 pretty much to hit us so it, it does its job already I, I need something else resist energy plus 5 resistance against the chosen type of energy first 5 points of damage of this type of energy is ignored what are my options? Uh, acid would make sense because there's a lot of acid arrows being thrown around. The dam individual damage of an acid strike is usually low, but it just keeps uh, piling up and piling up. Alternatively, toughness. A uh, few extra hit points. Saving throws, that sort of stair stuff. Iron Will. Plus two bonus again to all will saving throws. I don't know. Improved initiative. When to when we I'll basically strike first in a turn if I take that. Not that important. Reflex saving throws and iron uh, will saving throws would also be very nice if they would be a little bit higher. But we can sort of work around these through other. Yeah, clarity potion which allows us to ignore will. Reflex is something that nothing will really allow us to ignore. So this would uh, reduce trap damage and things like that. Spell damage on a lot of fireball type spells. But uh, most of the spells thrown our way are single target or something where I, I really can't do much about it. So resist energy might not be a horrible, horrible idea. Persuasion and initiative. Or 12 extra hit points. 
I don't like the resist energy. I rarely take this. We have a cold energy resistance weapon. I have a fire resistance uh, belt. Maybe the acid resistance. Or additional fire resistance. It's 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 very common. But acid resistance would allow us to ignore certain type of spells. Spells that the conjurers always throw my way. Basically, I just don't know what to pick. So resistances. Hit uh, hit points in practical terms might have been better. This is one of the Christian Mark entrance. It's probably the portal we need the keystones for them. Or is this the strange chapel? It is the strange chapel, so this is one of the keystones. Step with me, come on, follow along. We have a note on this. Vibrance in the room. Chapel room. The keeper has told you that three keystones are okay. Blah 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 blah. One of these keystones can be found in a room behind the chapel of the on the upper level of the castle. The keeper did not tell you what was in that room. So once we go in there, there's a keystone. Yeah, this was some kind of a natural cave. Hold this it has a mold like it of some old. sort. What is it? What an odd place. And, oh, Lord of Battles, what is that awful smell? I think it's coming from those toadstools there. Ooh, that's mind affecting. Shit, if there are, if it's, uh, it's toadstools. This pestilent fungi grows in even the darkest of caves. It's a uh, mechanic. Oh shit. Disease. Um, I need to basically get a critical failure for the disease to affect him anyway. Hydric Cormirian Cobra. Cobra! Time for a bit of the game! Treasure just here. That's uh, somewhat suspicious, I'd say. Uh, cure serious wounds if only you use. We'll have to do that. Yeah, it's just a uh, cobras after cobras after cobras. Seriously? So they... I mean, this disease could be fairly bad, I suppose, but I just don't have it. Portidus is it's my best saving throw. I don't have to care about it too much. And they managed to even bring a cobra here. Step with me. Come on. What? This was easy. Hold this spot like Let's it look at our cool. items. I have a little bit of extra lore, so I might be able, I'll be able to identify some of these. Book of Healers. Permanent plus two to heal skill. Well, I'll take that. Yes, I can accomplish this task. What task? What the fuck are you talking about?
Uh, there's a little ton of items I can't identify. I always forget that I have the bones that could summon skeletons in a fight. They could have been a huge help in a lot of situations. Firestone. Uh, I think I can add plus one fire damage to a weapon that already has fire damage. Wonder how that works. It did not work at all. It's worth a couple thousand gold, I'm not gonna throw it away. So if it already has fire damage, it cannot add extra fire damage. But a couple of extra points of lore didn't make that big of a difference. I'll only add identified items to these. Okay, someone could take the resistance ring. Don't really see a downside in that. Just extra saving throws. Hold this spot like it was home. Yes. I can accomplish this task. So now there should only be roof viber nest that has the last keystone. That will be it. The portal should be outside the key. But let's go. Are you any good? Yes, yes you are. Also regenerates immunity to critical hits. Holy bullshit. Well, hello to you! Well, there is a side I had not expected to see. So you are the one causing the disturbance in the castle. I am disappointed. You seem such a sensible lad and after all I've done for you. What exactly have you done for me? Come on, Vico. If it hadn't been for me, you would have been stripped of your possessions and jailed by the Purple Dragons. I bought an adventurous charger for you, and never asked for the money it cost. You just wanted me to go after the Witch Lord to stop the raids on your farms. You cannot deny that it served us all that the raid from Polter's Fort were stopped. If you had been thrown in jail, there would have been no one to deal with the raiders. I'm not exactly lawful, so... The fact that Valedo is a pirate does not mean that I necessarily want to kill him no matter what. As it was, you did a fine job. You got your revenge, Hawkling had his victory, and Vibrant Vapor had the interference with his plan stopped. Pure innocents will die in raids, and others will avoid the misfortune you suffered. As you have, you have to understand, I am not a pirate for the fun of it. I have turned to piracy for my master, Vibrant Vapor. We needed money and land in order to find something, the legendary Vibrant Crown, before it failed into the hands of evil. We have my own reputation and my life. I have my own reputation and my life. I put both at risk for what is right. Sometimes the greater good needs some sacrifices to be made along the way. Judge me harshly if you like, Pico, but I think you would have done the same in my shoes. You were betraying Sir Hawkling. I gave Sir Hawkling all the help I could. It's true that I have attacked the ships of his business partner, but against that, I have told him many times that Imelda does not guard her ships properly. 
Also, I bought his farmland from him for a fair price when no one else would because of the raids. Hmm? I suppose that makes some sense, but it all lingers on the greater good. If I'm not going to get a good explanation on the greater good, it's with some kind of a secret that I'm not supposed to know. The, the, the equation here doesn't add up. Let's come to a deal, Vico. Whatever your mission is here, what concerns me now is my ship. I'll take my ship and sail it from the castle. I'll stop the piracy on Lake Wyvernwater, and you can say you have destroyed the pirates. How about it? What would interest you? I, I don't like this. Because the, the entire linchpin of this conversation is, is what is the greater good you're after? And I can't even ask about that. So, we basically have a pirate who, oh no, wants to make a deal, no shit, but says he has a good reason, but refuses to say what that good reason is, after he's lied and deceived me. So, you have to understand the fundamental position of these two characters and where the conversation is started from. I don't trust him. I can't take his word for anything, and he isn't even, he isn't even willing to say something like any details of what, why he did it. So, okay, what exactly are you offering? Money? Let me go free and I'll pay you, well, 5,000 golden lines. Uh, and this, this, the conversation is wrong. They're, they're treating like this like this is some kind of a common bug that I just caught pickpocketing someone and he's bribing me to look the other way. This is not the fundamental problem we have, uh, or the relationship with Valetto, the character. Uh, it's part of a much larger scheme, but he refuses to even mention what the larger scheme might be, and I can't even ask him what that large scheme would be. Well, th that's the fundamental question about this decision. If the overall larger good is worth it, then I might be able to agree with him. But the, there's no discussion about that. Apparently, the scheme that the plot, the entire main plot of the game is sort of centered around, is a, a topic I cannot discuss with the villains who are scheming it. So, no deal. Then prepare to die. Well, okay. Why aren't you doing that spider? Uh, who made seven throw? He's dead. Let Cleric is the biggest problem. But apparently he didn't want to come into this room, so I guess we're stuck. There we go. Helmet of plus oneness. Okay. Order staff of plus oneness. Healing bark skin quarter staff. Key key key. I need a container for keys. The game throws a huge amount of keys in my way. Uh Spell resistance. Silver trade bar. No inventory space.
Helmet the D. So, second helmet that provides immunity to drowning. Okay, I can see how this goes. So you're supposed to get the additional helmets somewhere else first. Um, for some reason, they don't want to put them where they're, they're actually needed. They're spread all over the place. Which makes no fucking sense. But at least it's possible. That's the important part. Um, I think I'm going to sacrifice a lore potion. Well, I chose items probably are fairly good. Best that we can find here. Assuming we don't encounter the dragon. The greater ring of protection. Fine. Okay item, but not that great. Probably has decent value though. Strength plus three. Armor modifier plus one plus spell resistance. Up and axe. Two weapon fighting, sonic damage, enchantment bonus plus three. This is fantastic. The sonic damage more than compensates for the base lack of base damage in the axe. Enchantment bonus just. God damn it, adds to that. Good weapon. Best we've seen so far. Damage reduction against uh, non-magical weapons. Yeah, this is this would be good for Lacinda. It's uh, maybe Edgar. It would help against the trash opponents quite a bit, but no 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 help against good opponents. Greater ring of protection, another one. Trident of pinning. Slew. Decent chance to decent DC, decent duration. This is a this is not a bad trident. The main problem with the weapon is that it's a trident. Allroom Vorax armor, piercing and slashing resistance, slide armor. A great armor for a rogue type character. Fantastic. Slashing and piercing is the most commonly used damage type. Pretty much every enemy here uses slashing or piercing. I think I've placed identified items here mostly, right? So... Just quickly checking, I haven't missed anything too obvious and important. I don't think so. Right, this is an item for our example is totally worthless to me. Bracer is on Mala. So we could replace it with the Rune Bracer. Low level magic resistance. Again, it helps us tank a little bit better. Armor modifier is irrelevant because uh, I already have a plus one item. But Tenematic Resistance means very low level spells on uh, shitty casters will be likely ineffectual, ineffectual against us. Fire Resistance... Uh, no one's really using fire attacks against us, so to plus 3 strength would be much better. Also as to damage, I asked the chance to hit and to carry weight. Only plus one though. Yeah, the main difference is the carry weight. Also, it'll stack with the other boosts we can uh, add on top of that. Hmm. 
Anything else? You need the belt or whatever that gives a little bit of a resistance. Yeah, this would help you. It'll drastically mitigate damage from minor sources. Also, greater ring of protection. I'll keep the fire resistance girl on myself. We can afford to give him a better weapon. The plus three weapon is a very good one. Sonic damage and enchantment bonds are much better than the katana. You are shitting me. Anything else? I could give him the blood frenzy, I just don't think it's a good idea. Don't have any boots? So I suppose we have a shitty talisman, but again, I'm not sure what would be the point. I suppose the question should be, what's the harm? Uh, we do have a helmet. Not sure if this helps any... Yeah, because it has a deflection modifier, which also the rings have. Right. We can give you a lesser ring of protection. Which is pretty much worthless, because you already have a cloak protection. Right. It still gives you a saving throw, so it's somewhat useful. There was the light armor, but uh, would introduce Arcane's casting failure. At the same time, yeah, this already has the damage reduction naturally. So, no point editing that. I can give her a light crossbow, which might not be a whole idea. Right, that's pretty much it. I could also give her the spell books we are, have been gathering. They're totally worthless to me. But uh, Entangle Owl's Wisdom Protection from Alignment. Only useful by Bard, Cleric, Druid, Monk, Paladin, Ranger. So, uh, no one here. Bard, Sorcerer, Wizard. Cool touch, lesser dispel. Not sure how these are useful to her, but we'll take them. box. I'll put some keys in here. There's just too many. I don't know what the designer was thinking with these. I mean, there's an endless amount of keys that don't even disappear after you've used them. So, uh, keys, 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 even triple keys. Time. That's fairly simple like for us, we need. Yes, I can accomplish this task. 
What else? Exit. We don't want to go to an exit. They should go to a wall though. Murmured conversation about captured cargo. Alright, I attracted some attention. As long as there are no casters coming away, I should not be in any real danger. If there's anything valuable in these containers, that might be an exception. Nope. Something low conversation and snoring. Let's have at it. Ooh, that's a conjurer. Attacking me, or aren't you? Conjurer doesn't seem to want to come after us for some reason. I don't mind, it means he's worthless. First thing that the caster will do is cast some sort of protection spell on herself. Himself? Itself, whatever. So we can use that time to close the distance and maybe use a knockdown on her. Catch the into point. I still don't understand the trade bars. They're they're the opposite of what a trade. Uh, an item used for trade transactions should be it should be light and portable something that uh, has a valid recognized Attack! value though so it cannot be forged easily it, it is not a huge heavy lump of metal that's uh, basically worthless Did I just get lucky and manage to pick the only chest that was trapped? Or is this some sort of a trick? 
Hold this spot like it was home. Yes, I can accomplish this task. 740, 250. Sword looks like probably life stealing plus 3. Vampiric sword, anyway. Doesn't mean shit. Oh, potion of heal, 1500 gold right there. Yeah, D and D edition of Storage Wars. How much is that item actually worth? Well, I'll have to pay fifteen hundred for it. I can't sell it for that amount. I would not want to sell it anyway. Two heals is a fantastic thing. That's a long boss fight that you can survive on these two potions alone, and it's a uh, from zero to full health, which is the more important part. When you have, uh, what, 150 points more or less? Somewhere around there. Uh, the minor heals do don't do weapons. anything anymore. And don't let up. Attack! I need a way to get up. Stairs up and down, right? The Viver's Nest is the only thing missing still. At the worst, there's probably like one really bad vibrant there that we'll have trouble with, or would have if I'd have to keep those two alive. But other than that, I think we'll be fine. This is the rule. Huge vibrant. Shit, just attack something. Yeah. To uh, intercept the huge one. Another huge one down there. Two huge one. And final keystone. What's this? Okay, this is a totally different place. Not sure if I want to take part in all this fighting. Triumph. Yeah, you keep saying that, but it uh, keeps happening. Step with me. Come on. Follow along. Yes. Right, I want to reach the portal. No, there's uh, access to the keep and all that, but is the tower a different thing than the keep? We've been in the keep uh, currently. Step with me, come on, follow along. The tower is something completely different. Hold 
ruled this spot like it was home. But it has nothing to do with the keystones. So what is it here for? Uh, to the wall. The wall. Don't think we can go higher. Might connect to the other areas down below. One's probably a store. This musty room has not seen use for ages. That's suspicious. Parallel acid. That's new. Barrel is sealed shut tightly, okay. There's also a grave there. Weapons, and don't let up! Attack! I have completed this undertaking. Okay, it's a barrel of acid, but Let's try destroying it and see what happens. Hold this spot like it was home. It's gonna leak there. Where will it go? I can't pick it up or anything. Uh, I can't, there's nothing inside, so, uh, wait, can I, uh, use it? Yes, but, nothing happens. Um, this feels odd. Like there's a purpose to this, but I don't get what the purpose is. I I don't want to risk losing any options I have here, just because I don't understand them now. Nothing happened. I didn't get anything uh, by destroying the barrel. Tightly sealed barrel of acid. Right, I'll go to the... portal in the yard and leave things at that. Probably heavy fighting or traps uh, or we'll have to deal with uh, once we get inside. Arrow acid. Seal tightly. Yes. I can accomplish Do your this task. not try to destroy. Also, this grating here is something I can't go walk through, so... It, it, it is something that's intentionally planted here, it's not some kind of a visual thing. What is this? What's below us? I, I don't know. I, I'll leave it here. Uh, unless I have an idea, I want. I don't, I don't want to do anything with it. We know there's an acid. Okay. Acid something here. And we don't understand what it's here for. Another tower.
That's the port. I think we'll visit all the interesting places. Yeah, feel free to do something. Slightly poison. Constitution poison. understand why he isn't helping. So, the poison is fairly dangerous. A little bit uh, behind the times there. Hoof marks. Uh, why hoof marks? There are pirates here, so where do the hoof marks? Uh, someone rode in a horse, that's where the hoof marks come from. Do I want. I have a horse, I have no horses nearby. I think we're just gonna go in and uh, see what's there and leave it at that. with writing. Go back my foolish servants, the blades will always let you return, but never to go forward. <laughs> Looks like this is uh, just a raven. Okay, there are blades here, three blades. And immediate death. So it doesn't look like it's a battle though, it looks like it's a challenge. Also looks like there's something down there. Scuff marks. A patch of rougher stone is visible on the ground. Holders. Large solid piece of granite just out just out from the ground. Right, I don't even know where to start. There's literally only one thing you can interact with though, so uh... Something to do with that pillar. <laughs> 